new water bottle hyperfixation alert. Definitely drinking that the wrong way. Anyway, hello. Welcome back to another vlog. This time it is our monthly reset, which is always kind of like my favorite part of the month. Here's the thing. Because usually in these monthly resets, I take you guys through like all of my resetting for the new month, which is usually like my notion, my planning content, my reading journal. And right now I think it is the 24th today, if I'm not mistaken. It's the last week of March, which is absolutely insane to me that we are already in the last week of this month. We are already going to be in April. Time is actually flying by. But also, for a little bit of a timeline, as I am thinking right now, like the first week of April, of course, we always have, I try to get up this video, which is like the reset for the month. I try to get up my wrap up. PBR usually falls either at the very end of the month or the very beginning, whichever one it is. And then also like getting videos filmed. So the first week, I really wanna focus on kind of having videos filmed, having videos posted, because I think the second week of April is going to be where I just kind of am going to take a week and I'm going to literally declutter my life. Do a spring cleaning, if you will, a complete like reset where I'm just going to go through not only like my clothes, everything, and just really like get real. Like get real. I got back from my trip. The last vlog that you guys saw was me going to Disney. I got back from that Friday and today's Sunday and just like the day that I got back, I actually went down to see Isaac and I just got back earlier this morning. But still on the floor over here. We just have like my suitcases aren't unpacked. Stuff's a little bit messy. Anyway, the reason that I started this off on Sunday night, I'm actually in the middle of filming. You guys have already seen the video. It's already out. If you guys want to go watch it, I actually thought up this concept. Me and my mom actually thought up this concept together, which I thought was cool. I'm actually reading people who meet on vacation right now. I haven't started it yet. So I have one overarching goal for this week of what I want to do, bringing out my planners and stuff. I've kind of fallen off my, I feel like if you guys watch my videos and stuff, I feel like, especially my vlogs, it's very apparent that I thrive off of having a very set routine. I feel like I do rely on having a routine to get through my day-to-day -day life. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think for me, that just really works to have a very structured day. I just have fallen off my set routine so at the beginning of the year i told you guys that i was wanting to like wake up at like five o'clock in the morning i've stopped doing that i think i started waking up at like seven and i have noticed the difference of like when i was waking up for my alarm because lately i feel like for the past like month i have been snoozing it i haven't been waking up when i wanted to i haven't been like making my bed doing the routine that i was doing for like the first like month and a half of the year i've fallen off the routine a little bit like waking up a little bit later i don't think that i need to wake Wake up like my alarm goes off at 4 50. I don't think that I need to wake up that early. I think I can find a middle ground and I think maybe my alarm can go off at like 5 50. I would like to be out the door by at least like 6 30. My overarching goal for this week if I get nothing else done but I get this done it will be successful for me is just to get back set on a routine just because I like to make sure at the start of the week we're good to go. Also fitness wise. Obviously I was on vacation. I didn't work out last week because I was on vacation, but also I didn't run while I was on vacation. So it kind of has put back my running like, plan that I had, running plan, but I need to get back on that. I've been having this thought that like, since I didn't run last week, I'm not going to be able to run long distances now. And it's going to be hard for me to run. Like that has actually been a fear that I've had. So I'm really hoping that that's not the reality because I haven't ran in like a week and a half. I am terrified. I keep on talking instead of just, you know, doing what I said, which is like making the to-do list for the week. This week is actually the full last week, like from today to next Sunday. That is the last week because the last day of the month is a Sunday. So we start off on a Monday. Also, quick question. I know growing up, like Sunday was technically the first day of the week. Like that's what everybody said. But to me growing up, Sunday was always the last day of the week and your week started on Monday. Like I always thought like, okay, it's fresh new week starts on Monday. I don't know if that's just like because school started on Monday and that was the start of a new school week that I just always thought like no Monday's the start of the week like Sunday's the last day of the week and then Monday starts fresh let me know down below does your week start fresh on Sunday or does it start fresh on Monday honestly not super overwhelming I will say that I did not put clean I did not put clean on this week's to-do list because I feel like I'm now unmotivated I need to clean I know it's something that I'm gonna do so I said get back on routine and then I need to get my license renewed it's an adultish thing that I don't love doing I need to get windshield fixed which I actually scheduled an appointment they're coming here on Tuesday morning to fix my windshield I have to deep clean my car I need to like take my car through the car wash and deep clean my car I need to upload all the videos I have I actually have quite a few videos that I've been wanting to upload but they're just waiting for approval so I haven't been able to upload them which is why if you guys noticed 
I kind of there was like a hiatus a little bit maybe like a week I don't know but that wasn't intentional I actually do think it's been a week it was not intentional I have videos that I have edited and wanted to post but they just need approval before I can post them I'm gonna get those videos uploaded and then also this week I am focusing on finishing the can I finish my TBR video so that's just kind of the to-do list for this week I think tomorrow I'm going to knock off the get the license renewed I'm gonna go to the license branch I'm gonna just gonna do it I'm pretty sure you can just do it at the kiosk and I think I'll also just while I'm out deep clean my car vacuum it out and stuff I was going to plan out my week but I don't really know what my week is going to hold so I think I'm just gonna take it day by day that's what's going on I'm going to continue reading for that video very excited because reading an Emily Henry book also April can I just say has I'll leave, I'll leave you guys with this and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. There are so many new releases in April. I actually have two of them right here. I want to mood read. I want to film like a mood read with me. And now I'm kind of in a toss up between like, should I do mood read with me? Or should I do, can I finish my TBR? Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> with me trying to get back on routine bright and early at five o'clock in the morning. running a little bit behind. guys i'm just popping in here to tell you about today's sponsor which is none other than squarespace you guys know the deal by now but if you don't or even if you do i'm here to tell you about them again if you were looking to build a website for any needs that you may have whether that's you want to start a blog or you want to post your recipes or you want to start an online storefront or you want to run your business and schedule anything like that squarespace is the way for you i always tell you guys and it is like the main point that i always want to make is that squarespace is extremely user friendly you just log on start your free trial there are so many templates for you to browse and choose. You can customize them any way you see fit. The templates make it very easy to start with the base design and then upload it to any way that you want for your data and analytic needs when running a business. It's just very nice to see how your website is doing, how it is growing. You can see where people are coming from. You can see what's bringing them in, all of the engagement data that you would need. It also offers scheduling if you are running a business that way. I made my own little like blog style type of website and one of the things I love most is just how easy and seamless it is to connect all of the different different social platforms that I personally use as well as making a nice little community on your website. So if you guys are interested, you guys can head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you guys are ready to launch, you guys can head to squarespace.com slash Justin Sidwell to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the vlog. Just got out of the gym. First session back is always a little bit challenging, especially if you've like been gone and you like kind of take a break from weight training even if it's just a week. I find that even if I just take a break for a week, it's just you come back just still like feeling just kind of tired, not as much energy. And honestly, today's workout, it wasn't hard. I'm just tired. I feel like when you have that lack of energy and also I did bring my energy drink with me, but I didn't even drink it. I ended up just throwing it away. I just was like, I don't want it. Like I was like, I don't want it. I'll just have a coffee later. I'm honestly, really, it's just a win today that I got up when my alarm went off. I actually didn't go to sleep until like 2.30 a.m. last night because I was finishing people we meet on vacation so that that video, like the reading and stuff for that video was done. I was very tired when it came to waking up this morning. So I was honestly just impressed with myself that I even got up in the first place. I was thinking to myself last night as I'm just laying down and I can't sleep and I'm thinking, I am not gonna wake up for my alarm in the morning because it is literally almost three o'clock in the morning. And that means I would get like two, a little bit over two hours of sleep, almost three hours of sleep. I did it anyway. I'm trying to think as I'm driving what I need to get done today.
today took an unexpected turn. Do you want to know why? I went and you guys saw me clean and then I was like, I'm just going to run out and I'm going to go renew my license really quick because my parents did scare me for a second because they were like, oh, I heard that you have to retake the written test. Are you joking? Are you kidding? You didn't have to do that. Literally all I had to do was go take a different picture and stuff. And then obviously they do the vision test and stuff. So I sit down to do the vision test. And keep in mind, I couldn't even tell you the last time I've had a vision test. So I'm like, okay, cool. They're like, go take the vision test, queen. And I was like, okay. I quickly realized how bad my eyesight is. And by how bad, I mean that I think, actually I know, <laughs> I think I was one off from failing the entire eye exam. So then I tell my mom and they're kind of looking at me, they're side eyeing me. They're like, girl, you don't have glasses or anything? And I was like, yeah, especially my right eye. Right eye is terrible. I go and I tell my mom, oh yeah, like they said my vision. My mom's like, we're going to make you an appointment for the eye doctor right now. And we're going to go take you to get an eye exam. My mom forces me to go. We ran a few errands too. I went to Target, picked up some stuff. And then I also went to Barnes while we were waiting. But I go. And I take a version of the eye exam, um, like the first little part. And then the lady looks at me and she says, if you would have went like to the B&B, like these scores are terrible. Like you would have failed at the B&B. And I was like, I kind of did kind of fail at the B&B. That's why I'm here actually. Now I put in an order that I have to have glasses. I also have astigmatism in my eye. I didn't even know it was there. Didn't even know it was there. So this day took a turn that I did not foresee when I started it. I thought, okay, cool. I'm going to get up, go to the gym, clean up my room, go renew my license, clean my car, come back, film some reading vlogs and stuff. And that's going to be the end of it. No, no when life gives you lemons okay but i did do everything else today i cleaned my room i renewed my license I did clean out my car so that's all good so yeah for the rest of the day i am just going to film reading vlogs i went to barnes this beauty right here this is like a collector's thing for me because i love the film little women and i keep on meaning to pick up the book i've read like little parts of the book but i haven't read the whole entire thing and this one i just love like it just looks like a storybook almost i also picked up a physical copy of the wishing game so it just came out in paperback and if you guys know this is the closest thing that i've had to a five stars this year this was a 4.75 star for me it was so close to a five it just didn't give me that distinct five star feeling but one of my favorite books that i've read this year i also went to target because we were getting stuff to make mila an easter basket and then while i was there i got stuff to make isaac an easter basket so now i'm just going to film for some reading vlog today i ran at the gym like on the treadmill because i'm kind of easing my way back into it and i just hate running on the treadmill i think i just think too much about running while i'm on the treadmill because i'm not going anywhere like i'm not moving right now i'm playing the waiting game with safe light i need to get my windshield fixed today that's what they're scheduled to come between 8 a.m and 12. anyway it is about 9 30 right now I just go to the shower i'm getting ready for the day i am just kind of doing the same thing that i did yesterday in the sense that i'm working on my can i finish my tbr video yeah this is just not working out i'm at that phase where does this happen to anybody else where sometimes like you wash your hair and i just don't know maybe if i didn't wash it right because literally did i do that yesterday it was sunday when i got home i washed my hair i washed it and i like blow dried my hair and did a whole did the whole dyson thing and then the thing is is i used that wow spray and i swear every time i use that wow spray i hate the way my hair looks but right now i'm in that phase where ever since i have washed my hair i've hated it like now i'm just i just want to wash my hair and start all over this is the best we're getting today on the bright side of things yesterday i did finish my checklist the only thing that i have going on today is i needed to work out and get my windshield fixed and like the personal stuff so let's look at work wise also i did start video yesterday continued filming this one so on the to-do list today, it's just continue filming the April reset, continue filming the TBR video. Today is the 26th, so also at some point this week, I need to sit down. Maybe I'll do that later tonight if I feel like it. Maybe I'll do it here in a little bit. But I do want to do the, like, you know, whole entire planning out content, um, Notion, all of that. I am about to go downstairs, watch some YouTube, make some breakfast, kind of do some computer work, um, and then I think I'm gonna continue reading for the TBR video.
I do not know how I got here. It is like 7.40 right now. I have not even left yet to go to the gym. I just got ready. I woke up this morning at 5.20. Like I woke up and I was like, okay, great. Like when my alarm goes off, I'll just get out of bed. I don't even remember my alarm going off, but I know it did because when I woke up at 5.20, the hatch was like doing the sunrise thing so i know that i probably literally just turned off the alarm and went back to bed and i woke back up at like seven something and i just got ready for the gym the level of delusion that i have today is so magnificent like does anybody else ever do this where like you know you don't have something but you'll go look in the pantry anyway thinking that it'll magically appear for me that's my cherry slush Alani's. I need to go to the gym because we're gonna do an hour walk. It's gluten hamstring day. We gotta film the pod today. Gotta edit a video today. I fell asleep and it was like seven o'clock. I woke back up at like nine and I stayed up until 4 a.m. last night, which is definitely why. My sleep is like this. Like I do not know what's going on. I stayed up till 4 a.m. last night and I was watching. I last night was literally the definition of like you go down all these different rabbit holes on YouTube. Saw stuff on like Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. I saw stuff on Uncanny Valley. I was watching that one Barbie TV show funny moments, like the animated one. In honor of Sarah, I watched a like breaking down One Direction drama. Mm -hmm what else started watching some old Cody Co videos um started watching some conspiracy theories and creepy pastas started watching disney animatronics malfunction i mean like it was just one of those nights like we all have those nights i have them quite frequently last night was one of them and it was a whirlwind i'm about to go to the gym i'm back from the gym we're, we're doing it officially it's not officially april yet but It is on the calendar. So I'm going to try to kind of pencil out my month as I usually do. So like, for example, when you look at this, how I have penciled in, when to film videos, when they need to be posted, blah, blah, blah. I also do it in my work planner so that I can also have that on hand. I'm actually waiting to film the pod right now. So while I'm kind of in that in-between moments, I'm gonna do that. Only I haven't been journaling like about my days. I journal like my random thoughts. I like to kind of write them down because sometimes I think these random thoughts and I'm like, I swear I thought stuff like this in high school. So I thought that it would be nice if like I did entries and put the date and just put like random thoughts that I'm having. And I feel like that's more comfortable for me because personally it is very vulnerable to like write your inner thoughts down on paper. And I just personally know that I could never like go back and reread them. <laughs> it's like embarrassing for me and it shouldn't be embarrassing, but it is. I just don't like reading back vulnerable parts. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of that, watch some YouTube, but then we're gonna film the pod. I'm gonna try to edit the podcast and a video today and then maybe read later, it depends. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what Destiny editing is going to do. If that last clip made it in where I literally was having a whole entire mental breakdown last night, up to her if she leaves that in. But hello, welcome to Thursday. It's about 12.20 right now and I, you know, did the usual. I woke up, went to the gym, came home and I got the podcast up and I actually just got the video uploaded and sent over for the um like testing my book tastes how they've changed experimental video which if all goes as planned should be up friday and then the tbr video i want to get up sunday anyway last night i actually did not go to bed until like 5 a.m i think is when i finally like got to sleep and then my alarm went off i like i wasn't in REM sleep i feel but my alarm went off and then i silenced it and then i got up at seven i feel like that's what i've been doing this week but I'm telling myself I'm not too hard on it because I feel like really this week, I feel like it was a lot to try to be like, wake up back up at 5 a.m. and then go to the gym every day this week when trying to get back into the routine, not just of the gym, but also running on top of it, which I also ran at the gym today because it's a little bit chillier today. How people get mad, like you get in almost like a bad mood when you're hot. Like I feel like a lot of people get in a bad mood when they're hot and sweaty. I get in a bad mood when I'm cold. I'm trying to think on what I need to do today. I just all week I have went to bed. I don't think I've gone to bed earlier than like 3 a.m. this week. 
I don't know what's up because if you know me, I'm not somebody that stays up. Like I think I regularly go to bed at like nine or 10. So it's Thursday. I want to finish the, can I finish my TBR video? Cause I actually have two books left to read for that video. And I feel like I can definitely do it. I want to get that done. That way I can get that edited. Also, I think tomorrow I'm going to go down and see Isaac because Sunday's Easter and I'm spending that with my family and we're kind of having a chill day and we'll do like the reading journal and stuff. But I also need to read Emily Wilde's encyclopedia. And I think I may read that on Sunday and then probably filming my wrap up on Monday and either getting that posted Monday or Tuesday. That's the plan brain wise. Throughout the week I've been telling you guys how I've been like updating my notion here and there. I like been planning out content. Right now before I get into the like reading for the rest of the day I kind of have some stuff on my brain that I either want to like write down or I make a lot of like lists and mood boards. One of them being I want to write down my April goals because I have yearly goals but like depending on how last month does I I make like different life and career type goals for what I want to do and just what I want to complete in that month because sometimes like it's very overwhelming to look at the grand scheme of things like of a year so I like to break it down month by month sometimes as I go along not the first week of April but the second week I'm gonna do the whole entire like take a straight week and I'm not doing anything and I feel like I'm just gonna listen to audiobook and clean my whole entire room not just my room but like even like our kitchen i feel like i've contributed throughout the years of a lot of stuff that's all throughout our house that i want to like deep clean and not just like clothes like clothes is a big part of it but also just stuff that i have that i feel like i have always been a hoarder fun fact about me i just keep stuff so i just really want to like be so honest with myself and go through it but a big part of it is clothes and the thing that i want to kind of do is build a capsule wardrobe just kind of staple pieces where maybe you have accessories that make an outfit but for the most part it kind of dwindles down the amount of clothes that you have in your closet these like basic pieces so like a basic top or like you know just kind of neutral clothes and then you can accessorize it with shoes bag jacket jewelry and make it look different and dress it in so many different ways if that i don't i don't know if i'm articulating this in a way that makes sense but also i just kind of want to make like a mood board of clothes that kind of fit that vibe for me that way when i'm cleaning out my closet i kind of base it off of that like okay does this kind of fit this no then you need to get rid of it and especially like clothes that you haven't worn in a while there's just a lot going into it and i know it's going to be kind of overwhelming for me to do but i'm going to take a week straight to do it that's why i said i think in one of the last clips that i want to make a video of like listen to audiobooks for a week with me because I feel like I really love audiobooks and I kind of wanted I've wanted to make a video like that and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity breathing is not coming easy for me today so I'm gonna just take some time and just kind of get all of the thoughts dispersed out of my brain that way I can just kind of more calmly read and focus on that put everything in perspective places with my thoughts hello guys today is Friday. Friday. Good Friday. Have a good Friday, everybody. I forget what the last thing that I vlogged last night because I filmed, finished my, can I finish my TBR video last night? Well, I have to film like the outro. And this morning I got up, went to the gym, etc. as I always do. Got up, got ready. That's what we're wearing right now. I'm going to probably head to Isaac's whenever he wakes up or gets ready for the day. I need to put together the Easter baskets. We got Mila an Easter basket and then every year I get Isaac one. So I need to put those together as in like build them. <laughs> that way I can take Isaac's to his house and that way that Mila's is ready for Sunday and I don't have to, we don't have to worry about it. Also, depending on what time it is that Isaac wakes up, I may start Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies today. Next week's vlog that you guys will see will probably be, I've been thinking of making it like a kind of youtuber slash booktuber like week in the life where obviously it's still gonna be the same like vlog style but maybe more focused on like kind of work wise what i have to do for the day and kind of show you guys what a work week may look like first week of the month is usually kind of some of the busiest because you're getting everything kind of put together for like you know what we can chat about that in next week's vlog hi you can talk with me okay It's not a cherry slush, but it will do. Um, okay, so making a few Easter baskets. First and foremost, I'm gonna put together Mila's. So I got her these three books. I think they are so cute. A little busy buddy. And then we have a Seinfeld book. I rather love Seinfeld, so I thought that it would be cute. She had a little Seinfeld book. So we have some little chocolate bunnies. 
and some miscellaneous candies. Hello everybody, I made the Easter baskets and I had to really quick film like my outro clip for my Can I Finish My TBR video because I ended up doing that video, that video's finished, that video's done, so I'm probably gonna work on that like later tonight and tomorrow and stuff to get that up Sunday. But yeah, I'm about to go down to Isaac's, he's expecting me. I like, got a car wash and picked up some other little things for his Easter basket because he likes sour candy and I didn't realize that I didn't pick up sour candy so i had to run to the gas station really quick and get some because it was that important to me okay i'm packing up my last few things alani sent me this package a few months ago and it has pickleball paddles in it so i'm gonna take that down with me in case we want to do that let me see how this looks these shoes i don't know i'm gonna head on down there pack up all of my stuff maybe vlog if I do, but more than likely, we'll probably end up just coming back home Sunday, Saturday night. Mm -hmm. 